Welcome back YouTube, Mark here again. So hey, uh, I'm going to do a little video here, some construction work on the house. Um, I got this uh, hose bib on the outside here, it just has this valve here. And it has a valve inside and I'm going to install a frost free frost free hose bib here so that uh, you know you only have a valve out here I don't have to keep going in the basement every time I want to turn the water on so stay tuned stay tuned for a frost free hopefully very easy frost free installation okay so here's the inside as you can see there like I said I got this valve in the basement that leaks sometimes where I was just showing you earlier. Now I'm going to replace all that with this. This is a frost free water valve so that you're turning it off outside here. Turning this off outside but the valve's actually in down here. It'll be inside where the valve is. So we just get the sawzall, cut this off, pull the old one out and see what we got. Hopefully I got the right length. I think it's 8 inch block, but it might be 10 inch block. You might need to go get another one of these. Let's see. This is actually a blanket that doesn't burn. You can see it in the shadows here. It's non-asbestos blanket. Obviously you can see it does burn after a while. It's got some holes in it. I'll just throw it around here so I don't mess up my walls too much. Sweat this fitting off. Or not. Whatever. It stays there fine. If not, Shouldn't have any water in the line because um, the valve down there has a drain on it. That thing might be more trouble than it's worth. going to need to be so for the moment I'm going to leave that full length on there because we're going the easy method we're going to do shark bites hopefully we're doing a plug and play here okay so let's go on the outside and pull the old one out and see if we can through the wall it may be bigger around I might have to yeah, it might fit through there let's go check it out okay I cut the other end off that was tight Would have just pulled right out of there. Okay, 
Okay. Who's in? Come back. Got the old one out. There's a hole. You can see it through the other side. That's not. So, yes, yeah, so obviously I had the wrong one. We ran to the store. I got this 10 incher. Now I need to make that hole this size. I looked at, uh, I have an SDS hammer drill. I need, I would need a one inch bit for that. And they were $40. So instead of spending $40 on a one inch bit for that, for something I'll probably do once in my life. I have a one inch diameter hammer. So I'm gonna to try to smash this hammer through that hole. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can do this without breaking my air conditioning line there. I can see through to the other side. Alright, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Let me go get the hammer drill. Right. Here's the biggest bit I got. It's like 5 eighths or something. I need a 1 inch, but let's see if we can... drill hammer. That happens to be the size I already got. Let's see if I can do some reaming. Go to I'm gonna go to like a chisel. Let's try chiseling the way out a little bit. Turn this to chisel. Oh hammer only, no drill. Hammer only. No spin. So now I gotta do is just anchor it. A little drill bit. And here. A little hammer, a little masonry bit for some anchors. Also, I think it's supposed to be tilting down a little bit, so when you turn it off. The water that's in here drains out. Here. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if it's uh, if it's at the bottom of this hole and the top of the inside hole, I mean, it's definitely going downhill. If I do that, I'll just anchor it right there. Put some duct seal here. Could even mortar that, I suppose. I think duct seal will be fine. Right, let me just do that. Let me drill a couple holes. Okay, brought a few things I had laying around. Some tap cons. There's some screws and anchors. I'm going to try these ones right here. I think the drill bit I used was one size too big for these. It's the only drill bit I had that was little. Um, I'll try and see, if, see what happens. Um, you can always wrap electrical tape around this or um, jam something small in that hole, like a little sliver of wood 
and then this will screw in real tight. So that's a little trick that got, the hole's a little bit too big. Yeah, the hole's too big. Just blowing it out in the back because some idiot used a hammer, chisel, instead of a the proper size bit. All right, let's see. Let's test my little theory that I just told you about. Let's take this little stick. Put it in the hole. That's what you said. Teflon tape. Ah, yeah. Hope this shelf holds me. Okay, can we get some wrenches? Tighten that sucker down. I think we just plug it in. We're golden. We are golden. Got some wrenches. See the leaks. It feels pretty solid. I mean, I'll, uh, probably what I should do is get some mortar, you know, and mortar around right here, real nice. Um, what I'll probably do is just jam some duct seal in here, seal it up. That's what I'll do on the outside, too, duct seal. Let's turn the water on, see what happens. What do you think? eliminate that valve but um, it was just so easy to plug it on with that door that I figured that would you know this valve will just always stay on I'll never use it let's see we got, it's a vented valve see it's got this vent You know, whoever did this pro did it properly for, you know, 1970. Put the vented one in here. That way you can turn it off, hoping that the water that's outside will drain out. Today, we don't need that because we have frost free. flow and it must be on outside. Let me go outside and turn it off. Okay, let's turn it off outside. Turn it on in here. Let's well, see, it's got a little drip right there. I'm gonna take it apart and go around again. That's the worst. Alright, let's do it. Back 
back off. Okay, I'm gonna tear it back off. You don't need to see this. Okay, we got another turn out of it. Put it back together. Try this again. See it? I don't think so. Alright, that one more turn did it. That leaks, good deal. Leak free. So there you have it. So let's see, let me get some duct seal. Let's go see the outside. Let's check out the outside. Ooh, water comes out. All right, let's look the last time. Where'd you come from? You want me to turn it on? Oh, it's, I'm going to turn it on. You ready? See, the problem was it leaked, you know, around here, then you couldn't just leave it on. I don't think so. Let's see, I put a new washer in here so this doesn't leak now. Let's try it. Whew. Yeah, let me water my corn. Look at that. You, you, want, you want to know how to make nice, sweet corn? Don't ask me. Look, that one's so old it's dying. And see the one piece of corn I got from it? Let's pick it. Ready to pick that piece of corn? That. No leaks here. No leaks there. No leaks there. Okay, hang on. Let me put the duct seal on. We'll check back. Okay, there you have it. YouTube. Sealed up on the outside with a little duct seal. And it's, you know, it's fine. No leaks. Put a washer in there. That was leaking a little bit, so. Now I got a hose with no leaks and we can turn on right here. We don't have to get on into the basement every time we want to turn them. Every time we want to water the plants, we don't have to go all the way to the basement. So let's go check out the basement side. All right, so there you go. There's the inside. Got a little duct seal around the hole. Sealing it up good. Coming down to the valve. And that's it. There you go. YouTube. Another project on a frost free hose bibs. You might choose to do it like this or not, but here's a way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one.